Here with the other OC women's soccer head coach Drew Burwatch after a 2-1 win over Emory Riddle in the final game of the Classic. Coach, got to feel good to get a win back on the board. It's been a while, right? It's been a while. But, you know, the, gir the girls have, uh, you know, come together, you know, over the last couple days and obviously disappointed with the way things went yesterday. But at the end of the day, we're, we're moving forward. Had another top 20 opponent that, that we played again tonight. And you know what? That team, that team worked, worked extremely hard as well. I think that was the difference for us tonight. We invested more in our team, and you know we were able to to find two goals. And you know that's that's the name of the game. We want to continue to try to get better, but also, you know, in our sport, goals are hard to come by, and it's taken us a while to get there this year. But but we'll keep pushing. We'll keep pushing. Proud of uh, you know what they put out on the field, and you know they kind of proved to themselves that, that they can make a difference. Let's uh, talk about the goals. First goal, uh, you get Michael Holmes gets the start tonight down that left side, able to cross the ball in, and then a great uh, effort from your forward, Amara Safwan, to rifle that one in after a great first touch. Yeah, yeah, it's and and that's that's the difference for us is our first touches haven't been good as good as we need them to be. You know, a little big, and then we're in traffic, and then the next pass is under pressure, and you know, so things haven't gone as smoothly with that, but. You know, Amara is a quality player, and, and you know it's her first year that for you know playing, and you know it's she she's in a growing process as well. So, you know, happy that you know got it on target, tidy finish, and you know that's uh, you know that was big. That was big to get a goal on the board for us today. Second goal uh, by Vero Kurtz. Uh... Dribbled it in, playing on the right, dribbling into the left, and a big left-footed effort. She's uh, done that uh, well this weekend, where she's uh, taken defenders on, cut inside, and then a, a great finish. Yeah, proud, proud of Vero as well. She's she's stepped her game up over the last couple of days, and you know she she's a girl that that is a handful when she's when she's playing at full speed. And you know we've encouraged her to to be aggressive out there, and you know take on the outside backs, get to the middle of the field, play combinations when it opens up for you, what it did tonight then, uh, you know, that's your opportunity to finish. And, you know, she's had several of those opportunities. And, you know, tonight, if you remember, in the first half, she, she did the same thing, came across the middle, you know, hit a quality ball, goalkeeper made a great save. And, you know, that's what happens from time to time. But, you know, she, she's moving in the right direction. And, you know, girls are going to see that and understand that the effort that Vero's putting in is going to be contagious and it's going to be helpful as we go forward. Let's talk about the weekend on the whole. This LDFC Classic is always such a good event, just top tier quality teams here. And it helps see you know, where some of the best teams are, especially you know Spring Armor, Martin Methodist, just uh, two top five teams. And uh, yeah. that kind of pictures of, you know, where the great teams are right now. Yeah, we're, we're going to continue to challenge our kids. That, that's the way we prepare for hopefully a postseason run. Postseason's not guaranteed. You got to put yourself in that position. But you know, these games are going to be extremely important to us. They haven't all gone as well as we would like them to, but but that's what we earned on the day, and you know it, it was it was good for our, our team chemistry, our team morale, you know to uh, you know score a goal. We, they got they got one back on us, but to, to finish one in, in the fashion that she did, you know our team deserves a lot of credit for that tonight for battling through the first time we played back to back games. It was almost a, like a, a sigh of relief once you know that final hole went off. You get the win. Just uh, it's been a tough, a tough couple of games here. But yeah. uh, how do you build on this going forward? Well, you, you gotta you gotta understand that you know we played well enough to win tonight, but we're still a long ways from from reaching the potential of this team. And you know that's my personal opinion. But but these girls are you know want to want to put it in, and and it's a matter of you know we've been just a little bit further behind than the other groups that we played. That's, that's okay when you're doing that in August and September. So we're going to continue to grow. Schedule doesn't get any easier next week, right? We're going to put ourselves back in a position where we can, we, we get back on the road and play and uh, head down to Hattiesburg and play William Carey. You know, a top 10 matchup. We're always looking forward to uh, these tough matchups early in the year. Coach, congrats on the win tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.